my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to show you how to create a decal that's bigger than our mat. Uh, so we have two mat sizes, the first is 12 by 12 and the second is 12 by 24 uh, but sometimes we may want something that's larger than that so I want to make a wall decal that's larger than my mats so I'm going to show you how to do that today so this is a SVG and I've already welded it together because I'm very happy with it now this SVG is from a fantastic Facebook group and the group is called Akio SVG and if you haven't worked it out already this group is dedicated to Harry Potter and it's a wonderful group uh, it's absolutely lovely everybody is there for the same reason we all love Harry Potter uh, everyone is very helpful it's very welcoming everyone shares it's just a lovely group to be a part of now it is worth noting that all the designs shared in the group are for personal use only so please do make sure that you adhere to this. Now this was made by a wonderful lady called Lara Forbes Allsop and she has kindly given me permission today to use it in my video. So the first thing we're going to do is size our image so I want my width to be 22 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter and you'll see here that we've got a X position and a Y position. So our X position uh, is going downwards. So it's our, our downward squares and our Y is across. So we're just going to line up. So I want my X to start at one inch and I want my Y to start at the one inch mark. I'm going to press enter. So this has now lined our design up. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into my shapes and I'm going to choose a square. So I need to uh, size my square. Now there's two things that are going to dictate how large I have my square. The first one is the size of the mat I'm using. So if I'm using a 12 by 12 or a 12 by 24, I'm going to use my 12 by 24 today. And the other thing is the size of my vinyl. So I'm really lucky that I've got great big rolls of vinyl. However, they are only the width of the one that I'm using is eight and a half inches so whilst I can do 24 or 23 and a half inches in length I can only do a maximum of just below eight and a half in width so the first thing I'm going to do is unlock my square and my width I want at eight inches and my height I'm going to have at 23 inches and I'm going to press enter. So if you were using a 12 by 12 mat, you would do 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And if you were using a 12 by 24, you would do 11 and a half by 23 and a half. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to duplicate it six times just to be on the safe side. And if I need to duplicate it again, I can. So I'm just gonna move them out the way. So I've got my rectangle, I've reduced my screen down so you can see exactly what's going on. So I need to position it. So I'm going to position it, the first one is 1 at X and 1 at Y and press enter. And that's given us our first position. So then I'm just going to highlight everything and I'm going to go to slice. And that's now going to slice out the size of our rectangle within our image. So I'm now going to click on these and just move them across. And I'm going to get rid of this layer and my grey layer. And I'm just going to keep my top black layer. I'm just going to put it there for the moment. So then we're going in with our next one. So I'm going to position my X at nine and my Y at one and press enter. 
and again I'm just going to highlight everything and slice so again I'm going to just move them across and then I'm going to get rid of those two layers now you see when I click here it's picking up the whole thing sometimes mine does that I don't know why but it does so rather than moving everything because I want to keep it all where it is I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on the layer and I'm going to hide it and then I'm going to re-click that layer and it will come up and the box is highlighted for me so I'm just going to delete that and again with this layer I'm going to make it reappear and I'm going to delete that as well that's just a handy kind of tip if you find that you click and it's not picking them up sometimes it does it for me sometimes it doesn't so on the x-axis I'm going to go with 17 because that's where this one begins and on my Y I'm going to go on 1 and again we're going to go in we're going to highlight and we're going to slice so we're now left with this bottom piece and to make it easier I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to reposition it so axis X at 1 and Y at 1 and press enter and that just makes it a little bit easier when we're dealing with kind of the bigger numbers so they've now cut exactly as we want them to now we can go back in and uh, redo our layers so we could place this one back at one and one and press enter and then we can go in and we can do nine and one and enter and that will line them up uh, so we're going to go ahead and cut this now so we've got six layers that we need to cut so we're going to go to make it and you'll see it comes up with at least one of your images is larger than 11.5 in height or width we're just going to click OK because we're using a 12 by 20 format uh, as I say whether you choose to use a 12 by 24 or a 12 by 12 that's completely up to yourself uh, it's doable on both so we're going to go to continue now I've set my dial to custom now I'm using a vinyl roll that I got from a sign writing shop uh, it's not Oracle 651 uh, it's it's a different brand now I've used this before so I know that I need the premium outdoor vinyl uh, cut so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to go ahead and load our mat so our decal is now all cut out and weeded so I'm going to go ahead and start transferring it and I'm going to transfer it in length so you can see that we've already transferred our first part and all I've done is pulled the transfer tape back on itself so that I can then line up our second part so all I'm going to do is gently bring our tape down and just very gently match each letter at a time and you just want to be really gentle and take your time with it right so we've now matched our joins so we're just going to very gently place down the rest of our tape and then we're going to go in with our scraper like we normally would with any vinyl and we're going to do the front and the back so I've now scraped the back so I'm going to very gently start peeling there we go and just like normal vinyl if it starts coming up we're just gonna 
pull it back down and re-scrape. Perfect. So I'm just going to pop this back on top of it. I'm not going to scrape down or anything, it's just as a protective barrier. So I'm going to go put this first one on the wall, uh, which I'm not going to show you, but I'll show you the next one going onto the wall. So firstly, my apologies. When I did my second piece, which I said I was going to show you how I lined it all up, I didn't switch my camera on. Uh, so I'm very sorry about that. Now normally, uh, if I was doing a frame or something like that, I would just cut another piece of vinyl out and I would redo it. I'm not pulling all this off uh, and redoing it. Uh, so I'm going to show you on this final piece how I line it all up. You can probably hear my dishwasher in the background. Uh, sometimes it chooses to be quite noisy. Uh, we are in my kitchen so it's running, we've just had dinner. So again, very sorry. Uh, so what I like to do once I've transferred onto my transfer tape is to cut my transfer tape into smaller areas just so it's more manageable uh, when obviously trying to line everything up. So I'm just going to line up my first piece and just have to kind of take your time and make sure that you're happy with the placement. Okay, so now I need to get my scraper. And just give that a really, really good scrape. And the other thing I do, now I haven't got one uh, with me, I can't find it, I think the grandchildren have probably thrown it somewhere. Uh, is tennis balls. Tennis balls are really great when you're working with decals on walls. Um, they get in all the kind of nudges. Now, as I say, I think the uh, grandchildren have lost my many tennis balls that I had laying around in my craft room. So, this is from a ball pit. So it's a ball pit ball. It's been working absolutely fine. Uh, so all I do, and I just run it over, now with the tennis ball, you can do more of a kind of, is that better? More of a kind of pushy motion. Uh, but with this, I'm just going in and giving it a really, really good scrape. Now we're gonna line the next bit up. And really, you're just layering. That's all you're doing. You're just lining them up. It's no different to layering or knockout text. Get my scraper. Now you'll find that some walls are easier than others. These walls are awful. This is a very old cottage. Um, it takes some really hard work um, to, to peel. Uh, but once you've peeled and they're on, then they're on. Uh, they're brilliant. But getting them transferred from the transfer tape to the wall and then not peel off as you're peeling, that's really tricky. Um, but you just want to do the same method that you always do. So we're gonna pull back as close uh, to the frame or the wall or whatever it is that we can. And I always use this, especially with walls. Um, I, I'll see if I can show you. So I kind of pull my tape flat against my scraper and I pull back as I'm doing it. And that seems to make it a little bit easier. Although I still end up with problems with these walls. Uh, so I'm going to carry on and uh, transfer this piece. So we've got our last two pieces to put on now. Uh, so I just wanted to line them up. Try not to get in the way, but... 
Hi Biz Biz. There we go. So my lovelies, that is our wall decal all finished. As you can see, it is pretty big, uh, but I love it and I think it looks really gorgeous on the wall. And it's just an example of what you can do when you cut uh, bigger than your mat. Uh, so if you do want to do big wall decals in your house, uh, then that's the method to use and it just allows you that bit more freedom to cut bigger than you usually would. So as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please do like, follow and comment and I'd love to see if any of you have done any big decals in your house, uh, especially using the off the mat process that we've done today. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you all next time. Please do subscribe, like and comment below. Bye.